we are going to see class 12 physics ncrt solutions in the topic current electricity exercise 3.9 this is the circuit given and you know that this is wheatstone's bridge circuit obviously five resistors are there it is wheatstone's bridge and that is connected to another resistance and a battery which is there shown in the figure which is shown in the figure what you are supposed to find is you are supposed to find the current in each branch of course you will have to find the current total current also ok when you look at this network 10 ohm, 5 ohm, 5 ohm, 10 ohm and 5 ohm. So you may have a feeling that the Wheatstone's bridge is balanced because 5, 10, 10, 5. But it is not balanced. If 10, 5, 10, 5 means balanced. P, Q, R, S means P by Q should be equal to R by S. But here it is not so. 10 by 5, here 5 by 10. They are not equal bridge is not balanced you are supposed to find current in each branch of the network obviously you may have to use Kirchhoff's volt voltage law KVL called as KVL at plus 2 level ok moreover when you look at this resistance values 10 ohm and 10 ohm 5 ohm and 5 ohm Therefore, whatever current flows in 10 ohm should be equal to the current flowing in this 10 ohm also. You can see some kind of symmetry is there in the given network. 10, 5, 5, 10. So, current through this should be equal to current through this. Current through this should be equal to current through this. Irrespective of this value, even if it is 10, 12, 13, 20, whatever it is, Current in this will be equal to current in this, current in this will be equal to current in this. You can exploit this symmetry, some kind of a symmetry, to do the sum much more easily. Otherwise, you may have to uh, use three unknowns and three equations you will have to solve. But here, because of this pattern, you can do with two unknowns quickly. See, I take a current I coming here. Let's say the current through this is I1. So, immediately you can write current through this here also I1. And current in this will be I is coming, I1 has gone that side. So, I minus I1. That is current through AB. I1, current in the branch AD, I minus I1, same will be the current in this, so I minus I1, I just now explained. Then what about current through this branch? I1 is coming, here I minus I1, so this current minus this will give you this current. So, I minus of I minus I1, I1, sorry, I1 minus of I minus I1, this will give you 2 I1 minus I. This is a current through this 5 ohm resistance, 2 I1 minus I. So, I through the branch BD is 2 I1 minus I. That is, I1 is coming out of the 2I1 minus I has gone this side, so I minus I1 will be there. Here, of course, is I. So, you have noted the current in all branches of the Wheatstone's bridge. So, you require two equations minimum. So, what you can do, you apply KVL, say for the loop ABD. So, apply KVL to the loop 
a b d a let us say you trace in the clockwise direction a to b 10 ohm i 1 current direction you are tracing like this current direction in a b is same as the direction of tracing so plus 10 i 1 then 5 into 2 i 1 minus i But when you come here, you are going, you are tracing opposite to the direction of the current flow. So, minus 5 into I minus I1. Minus 5 into I minus I1 is equal to 0. Now, you simplify this. First, you will have I term, then you will have I1 term, then you will have IG term. Any one way. Okay. Simplify this minus 5i minus 5i minus 10i 10i1 plus 10i1 20i1 again plus 5i1 so plus 25i1 is 0 minus 2i plus 5i1 is 0 then this loop 5i minus i1 plus 10i1 as the current comes here there is another resistance here so when the current comes i flows through this so plus 10i minus 10 should be 0 but so I take that minus 10 to the other side so plus 10 simplify 5i 10i 15i minus 5i1 plus 10i1 so plus 5i1 is equal to 10 5i plus 10i 15 minus 5i plus 10i1 so plus 5i1 is 10 multiply this by 5 add it with this or subtract so that you will eliminate i1 so equation 1 is minus 2i plus 5i1 0 equation 2 multiplied by 5 gives you 15i plus 5i1 is 10 so subtracting minus 17i is equal to minus 10. So, you get i is equal to 10 by 17 ampere. So, i1 will be equal to take this 2 minus 3i to minus 30 by 17. So, 4 by 17 ampere. So, what are the results? I is 10 by 17 ampere, I1 is 4 by 17 ampere. So now you can give current in all branches. Now let us write the final answer. Current through this branch AB, IAB, IAB is I1 which is 10 by 17 ampere i1 4 by 17 ampere which will be same as ibc sorry which will be same as idc current in this is same as current in this i1 so idc is 4 by 17 Then current in BC, IBC is I minus I1, I minus I1, 10 by 10 minus 4 by 17. So 6 by 17, IBC, which will be same as IAD. So IAD is also 6 by 17 ampere. Then IBD. 
you see from the picture 2i1 minus i 2i1 8 by 17 minus i 10 by 17 minus 10 by 17 so minus 2 by 17 ampere okay then total current will be uh, there is i through this 10 ohm which is outside which is outside the Wheatstone's bridge or the total current which will be i which is 10 by 17 ampere hence the answer okay thank you